Yo everyone, welcome to day 25 of the 1K to 10K challenge. Um, before we start, I'm gonna show you my new bankroll management strategy. As you probably uh, know, our bankroll dropped kind of rapidly, uh, mostly thanks to the little uh, more, how can I say, aggressive bankroll management that we went with. And yeah, unfortunately, the, um, the strategy I don't know, man, like, of course we ran bad, but at the same time, I did not feel like I've been playing my best, to be honest, uh, too. Uh, but yeah, man, definitely, like, when you combine those two things, plus the uh, the variance, uh, the bankroll management that we went with was pretty, uh, pretty aggressive. So I decided to kind of pull the safety break and try out something new. Uh, as I already told you in the, in the previous stream, I'm kind of still balancing or not balancing i'm still stuck between two options um you know the option of less tournaments slightly higher buying smaller fields or more tournaments micro buy-ins and high volume so that's basically what i'm trying to figure out now and i kind of find found a way to try both and at the same time switch it up uh you know, however, however I feel like. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna give you an explanation. You guys are more than more than welcome to give me uh, any feedback on the bankroll management. What do you think would be better? Just keep in mind, please. Just keep in mind that I'm streaming this. Okay. Just keep that in mind. I can't just just you know grind like one dollar forty five minutes and goes. No, that's not an option. Okay. I know it would probably be the best for the success and sake of the challenge but guys i'm streaming this okay this needs to be entertaining at the same time so keep that in mind before you suggest me something uh and as you can see i'm already already grinding uh, i'm gonna show you the schedule in a minute but first let's shove our uh 10 bit blinds here with ace king i think we are like 20 spots away from the money so hopefully we can double now with ace king and keep it going uh this is 3 30 i think deep stacks turny can we hold? Nope, that jack. Yeah, damn it. Uh, game. So we bust this one, unfortunately, very close to the money. But it's all good. Uh, let me show you the, the list of the tournament. So I decided to go with a 5% uh, bankroll management rule, aka 5% cap. Uh, so our bankroll right now is 812, uh, which means that 10% is 80 and 5% is like 40. Okay. Uh, so I decided to make a list of the tournament. This is for when we uh, when we decide to go with a uh, with an approach of micros, but slightly higher volume. But of course, we can still switch it up and just play some you know five dollar eleven buy and or not even eleven dollar buy, and some five fifties, four fifties, and stuff. But basically, the goal is to not go above forty five. Uh, Dallas, I'm actually gonna show you uh, this. We just lost uh, our last five big blinds. Okay, GG's. Uh, so I basically, I'm gonna try to stick to this cap right here, which is $45 per session, uh, and just see how it goes. As I said, like I'm gonna mix it up between you know micros and those um, tournaments with 550 by maybe some 750, but still, we can't fit too many of those 550s, 750s uh, in the session. So if we decide to go with a higher binds, we are gonna have to sacrifice some value, uh, volume. Uh, so yeah, guys, for now, I'm just gonna try this one, see how it goes. Uh, and as I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch it up from time to time, whatever, uh, or however I feel like. Um, and I just, just try new shit. And I think it's also good for the mindset aspect of of everything because you know taking those those big hits every every session while uh the volume being low is kind of you know hurting our our confidence um so yeah, guys by the way i'm also playing this 88 dollar uh buying on gg poker on gg poker it's fucking nice you know we running good we even in everything and everything is fine um but yeah the the, the challenge is kind of taking some some big hits so i decided to kind of uh you know pull the pull the safety break and and chill for a while and just just try to 
uh, gain our confidence back and gain the momentum back while you know it's not too late so let me stop talking and let's get right into it uh good luck cases Salad spot, you know, salad spot to be in. My man Joe into one out. He's Joe into some runner runners and stuff. Nice one. I'm gonna switch to the bouncy builder three tires. Something very interesting happened. 22 big blinds open, shafts under the gun. 220 bouncy. And we got ace king and 31 big blinds. Yeah, I don't think we have a choice, bro. Ace queen. People just shop ace queen like this sometime. Some hmm. That's interesting. Ace or a king. Too bad. I'm gonna switch to this 440 PKO. He opened. Uh, we defended our big blind. Uh, That's what we like to see. It's actually 2.2k. Two, two two okay. Ace X, Bradley. Am I correct? Uh, Ace 3. Nice. No, we just got called twice. Okay, I'll take that. Like we hold two, that's amazing. Good luck, that's for the bouncy. <sighs> okay. Also opening kings here with 16 big blinds under the gun. Hopefully someone loses his shit and shoves on us. May the luck be with us and my favorite hand, kings. GG's. I'm also gonna switch to the bouncy builder to eat area. Hopefully we can double here too. Jack 10. Need Barry. No Barry. GG's bouncy builder. One, I mean bro, like why do they have to open shop 160 mid blinds and I always wake up with Ace King? Hmm. Why do they have to do that bro? What you open shop in deuces? Yeah, we definitely losing this. Loses never loses. GG's, uh, of course. Normal stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think we're gonna have to get used to this uh, if we wanna play those uh, big field micros. <laughs> oh man. Good luck. Hopefully the ace is live. My man is short too. Hold it. Nice. Let's go. Changing the card to red, how many big blinds do we have? 4 to 20, okay, that's playable. Jess, you still in? Be all in with them sixes. Good luck, 10 big blinds. Fireblade says, can't show good luck in the 330 on stars, bro. Good luck to you too, bro. Good luck, my man. Oh, yeah. Flip. Flip. Win. That's a very horrible turn. GG's. Um, yeah. Oh my dear lord. You better bet. Because you know that shove is coming. That flop though. Oh my god. Lord of the light. Be on our side. Game of Thrones vibes. What you got, bro? Queen X. No way he folds, god damn it. What the hell do you bet into two opponents and then fold to a shove? Still nice, but not complaining. I'm gonna switch here. I'm gonna be all in with pocket eight and eight big blinds. This is the bouncy builder run 10. Good luck. ISO jam, bro. So there's some dead money. Damn, bro, don't call. Okay. <laughs> Flap a set. Gotta flap a set. He 
yeah yeah i think we can push this right good luck hundred something k if he falls yes okay i'll take that too not the worst outcome nines <laughs> i think we can push this to it under 20 bigs i know it's open on the gun but uh, we're actually six handed he's still gonna open fold some hands and we don't mind a flip hey another chip up amazing <laughs> let's go mm, we actually can't and even the money in the bouncy builder one cent two 70 away from the money And it's actually an easy push. I had the fold button ticked for no apparent reason. Jags here, the classical. We got called by Ace King. Slow roll us. Punishment. Yep, nice one. Here we go, guys. Very important moment in this tournament. Good luck, Jacks. Can say Ace King flipping. Jack, get up. GG's 29th place, no slips, gotta win them, GG's 11 dollars, which puts us in slight profit uh, for party. And yeah, looks like we are in the money in the bouncy builder 110, we have a great stack, 28 big blinds, so good luck, 399 for first, with the bounces and stuff, maybe around 500, which would be nice. I think it's on 20, no oh, hell yeah bro, get it in too, get it in too. Real aces against fake aces. Yeah, we all beautiful. Good luck, eh, Jack. Okay. Nice. I'll take that. Very interesting flops. Gatchat plus backdoor flash jaw. Not flash jaw, by the way. 2.4k, very interesting. Let's see the turn. We still have a gatchat. Plus, we picked up the official flash jaw. And this dude seems like he's been very aggressive in those four hands. Oh, hello. Do it, bro. Oh, yeah, it's coming. My man has no check button. Come get this bouncy, bro. I'll make it dramatic. Okay. Might as well just go with a, like a mink click back or something. Like if he has a piece of this flop or even some weaker flushes, he might feel more like calling you know mandatory three bad right here right now limp calls with something on the button interesting but size bet Miguel Cruz says, Cullen, you got that young Michael Jackson swag in your voice. I do, bro. Listen to this. What about sunrise? What about rain? What about dan, 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 dan? Straight up Michael, bro. I'm telling you. No Neverland, though. No Neverland stuff, okay? <laughs> Just because I, I told you. <laughs> we'll start singing. What about sunrise? What about rain? My man with his limping strategy once again. Let's see what's up this time. Pot size dong bed, bro. Come on. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Not as fast as last time, but still.
do it. I'm in Savage in the house. What's up, Savage? Do it, bro. I don't think you're gonna see the river for free with the flash jar there, bro. I think we can still extract value out of all the weaker Asex hands and at the same time prepare ourselves to shove the river and stuff, you know. Okay. We also got Jags here, my dude Limps UTG. How many people do you have, bro? 45, okay. Limp calls, flop comes, deuce eight, six. Then we gotta get ourselves ready to see stuff like this, man. When we play those binds, <laughs> okay. So let's uh, run this, uh, run this through. Okay, so my man limps under the gun. Okay, not standard, but he can still fold when I freaking forex, right? Uh, yeah, he calls. Okay, check calls. Freaking fifty percent bet with a gut shot. Um, gets there. Min bet. Calls a shove with nuts. 9-10. Okay, GG's. Uh, we bust in 450 something place. That leaves us with uh, only this one uh, for the challenge. So yeah, need to do some session saving. But at the same time, we not down a lot. Thanks to my new bankroll management, you see. <laughs> Just in case the session goes like this, we not down a lot, man. Good luck, I say it. We are again seven eight. Well, that's dirty. GG's guys, bust this one in twenty third place, and yeah, the session is done. Um. Uh, yeah, I mean, the new strategy kind of, uh, how can I say it, uh, saves us from getting hit a lot by, you know, the the, the short-term short variance. So, yeah, even if the session sucks, uh, we won't be down that much thanks to the cap. So, yeah, as I said, I'm going to stick to this strategy. Uh, for for a while and see if it works and if it needs some adjustments i'm a i'm a do some adjustments uh once again feel free to leave me any feedback if you have some bankroll management and game selection uh recommendations um i'm open to any ideas besides the you know uh boring sit and goes and like cash games stuff i know yeah basically don't forget i'm streaming this uh, and yeah, guys, uh, I'm gonna uh, update the bankroll real quick. And yeah, we end up with 796 and 72, which means that we are down like 15 bucks. Yeah, 15 bucks uh, for today. Yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll be back on Friday. Shout out to all of you. Love you all. And I'll see you on Friday. Westy on production. Westy on production.